parallels can be drawn to connect creativity to major mental illnesses including, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, depression, anxiety disorder, and ADHD. For example, numerous studies have demonstrated correlations between creative occupations and people living with mental illness. There are cases that support the idea that mental illness can aid in creativity, but there is also strong support that mental illness does not have to be present for creativity to exist. History It has been proposed that there is a particular link between creativity and mental illness association between mental illness and creativity first appeared in literature in the 1970s, but the idea of a link between madness and genius is much older, dating back at least to the time of Aristotle. The ancient Greeks believed that creativity came from the gods, in particular the muses. Romantic writer had similar ideals with Lord Byron pleasantly expresses, we of the craft are all crazy. Some are affected by gaiety, others by melancholy, but all are more or less touched. Individuals with mental illness are said to display a capacity to see the world in a novel and original way. Literally, to see things that others cannot. Studies. A study by psychologist J. Philippe Rushton found creativity to correlate with intelligence and psychoticism. Another study found creativity to be greater in schizotypal and in either normal or schizophrenic individuals. While divergent thinking was associated with bilateral activation of the frontal cortex, schizotypal individuals were found to have much greater activation of their right frontal cortex. This study hypothesizes that such individuals are better at accessing both hemispheres, allowing them to make novel associations at a faster rate. In agreement with this hypothesis, ambidexterity is also associated with schizotypal and schizophrenic individuals. Three recent studies by Mark Beatty and Adrian Furnham have demonstrated the relationships between schizotypal and hypomanic personality and several different measures of creativity. Particularly strong links have been identified between creativity and mood disorders, particularly manic depressive disorder and depressive disorder. In Touched with Fire, Manic Depressive Illness and the Artistic Temperament, K. Reedfield Jamison summarizes studies of mood disorder rates in writers, poets and artists. She also explores research that identifies mood disorders in such famous writers and artists as Ernest Hemingway, Virginia Woolf composer Robert Schumann, and even the famed visual artist Michelangelo. A study looking at 300,000 persons with schizophrenia, bipolar disorder or unipolar depression, and their relatives, found over-representation in creative professions for those with bipolar disorder as well as for undiagnosed siblings of those with schizophrenia or bipolar disorder. There was no overall over-representation, but over-representation for artistic occupations among those diagnosed with schizophrenia. There was no association for those with unipolar depression or their relatives. A study involving more than one million people, conducted by Swedish researchers at the Karolinska Institute, reported a number of correlations between creative occupations and mental illnesses. Writers had a higher risk of anxiety and bipolar disorders, schizophrenia, unipolar depression, and substance abuse and were almost twice as likely as the general population to kill themselves. Dancers and photographers were also more likely to have bipolar disorder. However, as a group, those in the creative professions were no more likely to suffer from psychiatric disorders than other people, although they were more likely to have a close relative with a disorder, including anorexia and, to some extent, autism, the Journal of Psychiatric Research reports. Research in this area is usually constrained to cross-section data sets. One of the few exceptions is an economic study of the well-being and creative output of three famous music composers over their entire lifetime. The emotional indicators are obtained from letters written by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, Ludwig van Beethoven and Franz Liszt, and the results indicate that negative emotions had a causal impact on the creative production of the artists studied. According to psychologist Robert Epstein, creativity can be obstructed through stress. A 2005 study at the Stanford University School of Medicine measured creativity by showing children figures of varying complexity and symmetry and asking whether they like or dislike them. 
the study showed for the first time that a sample of children who either have or are at high risk for bipolar disorder tend to dislike simple or symmetric symbols more. Children with bipolar parents who were not bipolar themselves also scored higher dislike scores. Positive mood does not inhibit creativity. Mood creativity research reveals that people are most creative when they are in a positive mood and that mental illnesses such as depression or schizophrenia actually decrease creativity. People who have worked in the field of arts throughout the history have had problems with poverty, persecution, social alienation, psychological trauma, substance abuse, high stress and other such environmental factors which are associated with developing and perhaps causing mental illness. It is thus likely that when a creativity itself is associated with positive moods, happiness, and mental health, pursuing a career in the arts may bring problems with stressful environment and income. Other factors such as the centuries-old stereotype of the suffering of a mad artist help to fuel the link by putting expectations on how an artist should act, or possibly making the field more attractive to those with mental illness. Bipolar Disorder there is a range of types of bipolar disorder. Individuals with bipolar eye disorder experience severe episodes of mania and depression with periods of wellness between episodes. The severity of the manic episodes can mean that the person is seriously disabled and unable to express the heightened perceptions and flight of thoughts and ideas in a practical way. Individuals with bipolar II disorder experience milder periods of hypermania during which the flight of ideas, Faster thought processes and ability to take in more information can be converted to art, poetry or design. Schizophrenia Schizophrenics live with positive, negative, and cognitive symptoms. Positive symptoms, hallucinations, delusions, thought and movement disorders. Negative symptoms, flat effect, anhedonia, reserved. Cognitive symptoms, problems with executive functioning, attention and memory. Arguments that link creativity and mental illness. Equals psychosis equals, many famous historical figures gifted with creative talents may have been affected by bipolar disorder. Ludwig van Beethoven, Virginia Woolf, Ernest Hemingway, Isaac Newton, Judy Garland and Robert Schumann are some people whose lives have been researched to discover signs of mood disorder. In many instances, Creativity and psychosis share some common traits, such as a tendency for thinking outside the box, flights of ideas, speeding up of thoughts and heightened perception of visual, auditory and somatic stimuli. Equals emotions equals, many people with bipolar disorder may feel powerful emotions during both depressive and manic phases, potentially aiding in creativity. Because mania decreases social inhibition, performers are often daring and bold. As a consequence, creators commonly exhibit characteristics often associated with mental illness. The frequency and intensity of these symptoms appear to vary according to the magnitude and domain of creative achievement. At the same time, these symptoms are not equivalent to the full-blown psychopathology of a clinical manic episode which, by definition, entails significant impairment. Equals posthumous diagnosis equals some creative people have been posthumously diagnosed as suffering from bipolar or unipolar disorder based on biographies, letters, correspondence, contemporaneous accounts, or other anecdotal material, most notably in K. Reedfield Jamison's book Touched with Fire, Manic Depressive Illness and the Artistic Temperament. Touched with Fire presents the argument that bipolar disorder, and affective disorders more generally, may be found in a disproportionate number of people in creative professions such as actors, artists, comedians, musicians, authors, performers and poets. Equals positive correlation equals, several recent clinical studies have also suggested that there is a positive correlation between creativity and bipolar disorder, although the relationship between the two is unclear. Temperament may be an intervening variable. Ambition has also been identified as being linked of to creative outputs in people across the bipolar spectrum. Modern Cultural Viewpoints, the 2012 book Tortured Artists, by the American arts journalist Christopher Zara, showed the universal nature of the tortured artist stereotype and how it applies to all of the creative disciplines, including film, theater, literature, music, and visual art. 
the artists profiled in the book have made major contributions to their respective mediums. In each case, the author attempts to make a connection between the art and the artist's personal suffering. Notable individuals, Albert Einstein had a son with schizophrenia and was also somewhat schizotypal and eccentric. Bertrand Russell had many family members with schizophrenia or psychosis, his aunt, uncle, son and granddaughter. Joanne Greenberg's novel I Never Promised You a Rose Garden is an autobiographical account of her teenage years in Chestnut Lodge working with Dr. Frieda from Reichmann. At the time she was diagnosed with schizophrenia, although two psychiatrists who examined Greenberg's self-description in the book in 1981 concluded that she was not schizophrenic, but had extreme depression and somatization disorder. The narrative constantly puts difference between the protagonist's mental illness and her artistic ability. Greenberg is adamant that her creative skills flourished in spite of, not because of, her condition. Liz Brady is a contemporary artist who has made work about her experiences with borderline personality disorder and is curator of the exhibition Broken Grey Wires that examines the relationship between contemporary art and mental health. The modernist and early feminist Virginia Woolf suffered from bipolar disorder. See also, Crazy Wisdom, Outsider Art. References External links the Sylvia Plath Effect by Deborah Smith Bailey from American Psychological Association, The Myth of the Mentally Ill Creative Blog Entry about Creativity and Mental Illness by a Professor of Psychology and Creativity Scientist Keith Sawyer, A Journey into Chaos, Creativity and the Unconscious by Nancy C. Andreessen, Men's Sana Monographs, 2011, 9, 1, p. 42 a Euro 53.